I'm Eric Shapiro. I'm the Associate Chair for Research in the Department of Radiology at MSU. Uh, one of the roles I see myself playing is, is bringing biomedical imaging and data analysis uh, as part of this biomedical engineering approach to studying medicine. So we have a, a number of general focuses in the lab. One of the general focuses is early detection of disease. So there are an enormous number of diseases that could benefit uh, from early detection. Cancer, of course, it's a no-brainer. If you could detect cancer earlier, you could begin giving treatments earlier, and survival goes up. It, it, that's, that's well established. So another major area of the laboratory is the use of imaging in regenerative medicine, or cell-based therapies. And in these treatments, you know, it won't be possible to simply biopsy and see whether or not something's happened. You know, we just can't sit and, and, and biopsy the brain. We can't biopsy parts of, of the internal organs without causing severe damage. And so in those cases, non-invasive imaging of regenerative medicine type applications uh, will be exceedingly important. You know, so the, the laboratory sits at this interface of nanomaterials and, and biomedical imaging and biomedicine. Um, and so we sit in this, in, in this intersection and, and, and play around in these different uh, sandboxes, so to speak. And you know, I, I think that if we're creative enough, then we can draw from these research areas. And you know, in the middle, there's an approach to early detection of cancer. Uh, how do we see stem cell transplants and quantify them and measure them longitudinally? And I think that there's, there's some artistic beauty in that as well. We uh, now have a 7 Tesla small animal MRI system. It is one of the m world's most advanced research MRI systems. So it's two to three times more powerful than a human MRI. It's extraordinarily versatile in the types of experiments we're able to run. The barriers of the types of experiments that might have existed before are certainly uh, alleviated. You know, right now, our imaging systems can generate so much more data than just our eyes are able to process. And to mine this data, we need new approaches. And so the use of machine learning to objectively measure these types of imaging phenomena, I think, will change uh, how we approach uh, molecular imaging and biomedicine. I don't want Michigan State University to fall behind in these efforts because truly to remain competitive, it's really necessary to have this donor base and I'm very happy and excited that you know Michigan State University is you know taking this uh, approach to maybe modernizing how we how we view this without a doubt the things that we'll do will impact human health I'm sure of that <laughs>